Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, AccuPlace and Review, Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics, Problem 5. This is Problem 5. It says in the xy plane, a, lane, a line crosses the y-axis at the point 0, 5 and passes through the point 3, 7. Which one of the following is the equation of the line? And we have four choices, y equals 2x plus 3, uh, the next choice is y equals one-half x plus five. The third choice is y equals two-thirds x plus five. And the last one is y equals two x minus five. So which one is it? Now, what you want to notice to get the problem started is all your options are in the same format. They have y equals on one side. What we have is y equals mx plus b. This is a very famous form for the equation of a line. So the m stands for slope and that is basically how tilted the line is. B stands for y-intercept which is essentially where the line crosses the y-axis. So if you know these two things and you notice that they're all in that form, y equals mx plus b, that's how we're going to find the answer. Now the question doesn't suggest that you graph the line or require that you graph it, but I think it would help. Some people can see it more easily without the graph, but it's so easy to just sketch a quick graph. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'll number these. So, the problem explains that the line crosses the y-axis at the point 0, 5. So that's over 0, up 5. There's the point 0, 5. And it says it also passes through the point 3, 7. So the point 3, 7 means over 3 and up 7. So that's what our line looks like. Now, now that we have the picture, notice it crosses the y-axis at a height of 5, which is basically what they're telling you here. It crosses the y-axis at the point 0, 5. So now, that being said, I can eliminate two of these right away. This first option, y equals 2x plus 3, would imply that the line crosses at a height of 3, which we can see is not the case. So the answer cannot possibly be A. Could be B, because it ends in a 5. Could be C, because that ends in a 5. Cannot be D. It says 5, but it's negative 5, which would mean that the line crosses down 5, which is not the case. It crosses at positive 5. So I can also eliminate D. Which one is it, B or C? So when you get down to, if you can eliminate a few choices in a multiple choice, that's always a good thing. Now, what's going to determine which one it is is the number in front of the x. Do I have a slope of 1 half, right? The number in front of the x is the slope, or a slope of 2 thirds. So again, the slope is a measure of how tilted your line is. How tilted is this one? Well, slope is your change in height over the change in distance across. So to get from this point here to the next point, I'm going from a height of 5 to a height of 7. So that's a change in height of 2. And then to go from this point here, which has an x of 0, to the other point, which has an x of 3, I'm coming across an amount of 3. So it goes up 2 over 3. So here's what relates to 2 and 3. The 1 half doesn't do it. So the answer to problem 5 is option C.